Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 17. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the Vauxhall Racing Club. We're going to be taking the Vauxhall Monaro. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to go to the upgrades quickly and quick upgrade. Bingo. Ah, oh, fuck. I need more cash. I'm broke. Anyways, um, we're going to be doing the Vauxhall Owners Club. Uh, sorry, the Vauxhall Racing Club, starting off with Road Atlanta, Sebring International Raceway, Iberian International Circuit, and then Maple Valley Raceway. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Time to get on with the race. I mean, to be fair, for you to get six months worth of subs, it's going to take a while for you to get that watch time. I mean, it's been how many months, Epic? Two, three months. It's still only at about 25k. So, it's going to take some time to get there. I think it'll take you a, a, at least a year to get the 125k for six months worth of stuff. So, not bad. <laughs> it is fair enough, fair enough. Here we go, result. Probably gonna run downstairs and grab myself a bottle of Iron Blue in a moment. Which, if you are not from the UK, Iron Blue is like a drink that's drunk quite a lot in Scotland. Uh, and it is very nice. It's a lovely drink. Bright orange as well. Kind of funny. Meow. Lovely. Reaching now for something to hold. Reaching now for something to hold. Now. Oh, look at that. Lovely corner.
Not bad, lads. Not bad. The secret side of me, I never let you see. Side of me, I never let you see. I keep a cage, but I can't control it. The beast is ugly. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Here we go, saving our ghost. Woo! 8,100 credits. Not too bad. Now have a 20% discount on driveline upgrades by Voxel. Woohoo! And action! You're a bit too slow there, mate. <laughs> I wonder if the start position is actually based off of your level. Like, in-game level. Because we do seem to be getting closer to the front as... Uh, what's it called? A level goes up? But I also don't want to say that's what causes the leveling up, because I genuinely don't know. There's no pattern. Actually, the car level would make sense. Because we're level 25, which would, mathematically speaking, if every five levels it pushed you up, would cause us to be in third. And I mean, we were in fourth earlier on in the stream, and now we seem to be in third. It might actually be based off of car level. Uh, sorry, not car level, driver level. Which is an interesting way to go about it, because mathematically speaking, it means in a couple of levels I'm going to be in first place. By level 35. What are you doing? Not bad. But there isn't a championship difficulty, so... The only thing that seems to make sense, because once we hit level 25, I did notice we went forward. Well, I didn't notice it immediately, but, like, I had noticed that we were, instead of being in fourth, in third now. I genuinely think grid position is based off of level in this. Quite interesting. Might be. Again, I'm not 100% sure because it's all really confusing. Because it's not the same as Motorsport 1 and 2 where it was based off of a fake qualifying session that would basically put the fastest performing vehicles at the front. Because if that was the case, I would have started first. I would have started first for a majority of these events so far, so... Is this that new Tiesto song? Da na 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 Yeah, it might be just a designated place on each individual championship. Never know. Yo, Sinsu, what's up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Oh, Sinsu, I forgot to ask. How was your, um, 24-hour? How did it go in the end? Hopefully it was good. Have you finished Saints Row?
Where were my brakes? I had zero brakes then. They just disappeared. They went on strike. Ow. You finished the whole game in 19 hours. That's impressive. Funny thing, you spell TSO almost the same as Tesso in Czech, and that means dough. Ah, oh, fuck! It's been forever since I've done that. Accidental rewind. Let's go. That's fair enough, though, Sinsu, to go uh, 20, 22 hours non-stop and complete a game. Probably one of the first people to finish that game, let's be honest. <laughs> DJ Doe. I'm really looking forward to WRC Generations. I know I'm going to be complete playing that game for hours when that comes out. Maybe Solar Crown as well. Uh, so we now have a 20% discount on air filter upgrades by K&N Europe. These upgrades are available on cars made by... <gasps> Mr. Martin Bentley, Bugatti, Koenigsegg, Land Rover, McLaren, Saab, Volvo, and Vauxhall. Close enough. <laughs> but when uh, WRC Generations does come out, technically speaking, that is the last game that is going to be in my next series. The WRC series. Because once we're done with Forza, we're doing the WRC games made by... Um, Milestone and KT Racing. But uh, the plan is to do them all. So like WRC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Generations. And then I'm planning at the end of that series to do two bonus games. So I'm planning on doing WRC Power Slide as a bonus in that series. And then to also do um, Sebastian Loeb Rally as another bonus as well because that was technically made by milestone when wrc5 came out uh which five was made by kt racing or it might have been six i'm not sure but sebastian low rally was also made by uh milestone so i feel like it's only fitting to add it to that series Okay, yeah, the brakes on this car are hideous. Nothing matters but the pain. <laughs> My phone is on 15%. Jesus Christ. Mental dogs. I'm so glad that that dog down the road doesn't yap as much as he used to. Like, could you not? Like, for about three weeks straight, we just had a dog down the end of the road that would just bark. Woof, 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 woof. Stop. Woof, 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 woof. It was like an alarm clock, but it went on for like eight hours of the day. And there was no way you could turn it off. <laughs> Honestly, um, Red Bull does the job for me. I, I love Red Bull, right? Obviously, in the UK, we don't really get many special flavors of Red Bull. There are a couple, but they're really small cans and quite expensive. They're like £2 for a 250ml can. Um, I enjoy Red Bull more than Monster. I cannot drink Monster Original. I hate the taste of it. I don't know why either. I don't know whether it's 
It's not that it's sweeter, because it's not any sweeter than Red Bull is, but it just feels... tastes sickly. Like, it's got fake sugars in it that's just unreal. Just don't taste great. I don't think Bang Energy was actually a very good energy drink, to be honest. I think it's more sugars. One that really helped me, though, um, because of the fact that it had no sugars and it was just like pure caffeine, um, was Sneak Energy. That was absolutely amazing. I tried to get a sponsorship with them. They didn't do it, but the only problem is they are quite expensive. So that's why I was looking for a sponsorship. <laughs> so I can get free shit. Free shit's always good. Uh, we're now level 3. We've got a 10% discount on front anti-roll bars and rear anti-roll bars by eBack. These upgrades are available on cars made by... <gasps> Aston Martin, Bentley, Lotus, TVR, and Vauxhall. Let's go. All right, here we go. Do you know what I still find impressive? I don't even know if it's impressive, but... That I absolutely love, um... Pepsi and Coke. Because I hate cinnamon, and I know a large majority of the flavour of Pepsi is actually cinnamon. But I hate cinnamon on its own. Anything cinnamon flavoured, I'll pretty much avoid it, to be honest. I want to try Celsius, honestly. Heard it's a healthy energy drink and it's very good. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, so Sneak is all, like, it's not carbonated or anything. It's uh, pretty much G Fuel, but... G Fuel, I know you put in big scoops and it's quite sugary. Sneak, they're really small scoops because there's no added sugar or anything like that. Um, it just tastes good and it's got a shit ton of caffeine in it. You put in a scoop to about, I think it's 500 mils of water. Shake it around a bit and you're good to go. Obviously, cold water's best. The only problem with it is it's about eight, um, 80 pence to a pound per drink. And if you're buying the sachets, it's two pound a drink. So it's not cheap. But the thing is, companies like that... The one thing I hate about internet shopping, right, is the fact that so many good businesses... It's, it's a good thing. So many good businesses can actually, like, you know, sell stuff. That is good about internet shopping. What's bad about it is the fact that because of that, you have to pay delivery charges, which makes things so much more expensive for online shopping. And because of these smaller companies can't get them on the shelves in like retail stores if sneak could be on retail shelves it would be like 25 pound a ton not even they could quite easily do that if they were on retail shelves selling them mass produced but they don't which i think is a really bad idea it's similar to, like, Prime, though. I mean, you think about it, Prime is fucking dead in the water, pretty much, at the moment in the UK. The problem I have is, um, so KSI did, like, a little thingy on a podcast and sort of said, like, as their employees are just stealing Prime, putting it on the shelves, which, I mean, is... Or not putting it on the shelves and just selling it. Which I mean is fair enough, like... That kind of makes sense that they're doing it. And why it's not appearing. But, like... If there was enough supply... 
the Asda staff would eventually stop and start putting some of it on the shelves. You know, like when it comes in, they would put some of them on the shelves. I, I genuinely think there just isn't enough supply. I think KSI's chatting out of his ass. The day is my enemy. The night, my friend. The day is my enemy. Good night, my friend. Down. Down. Not bad. And there we go, across the finish line. Result. Continue. I'll take 8,300. Thank you very much. Uh, we're now level 26. And we've got 2002 Nissan Mines R34 Skyline GTR. Woohoo! Bit late for that, though, innit? Got it, mate. So I got 12 grand for that. Voxel Club. Yeah. I love the Mines GTR. I'll be honest. It's beautiful. PBS rims as well. All right, so we're here for the Pontiac track days. Uh, I'm deliberately not buying another car because uh, we're a little bit lower on money now. I want to try and get up to a million credits so that we can actually buy uh, an R1 rated car for uh, one of the previous events. Uh, anyways, Iberian International Circuit, Maple Valley, Sebring, and then Sedona Raceway. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Pointy act track days. It's time. It was acceptable in the 80s. It was acceptable at the time. Is that pointy act? Pontiac, sorry. Close enough. It's such a weird looking Pontiac. Was acceptable at the time. Was acceptable at the time. It was acceptable in the eighties. Lovely jubbler, lads. Lovely jubbler. I got love for you if you were born in the 80s.
not bad. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it going, keep it stable. I need to try and get these events done quicker because I want to have ended the stream by four hours and 30 minutes. That includes photos, thumbnails, everything sorted out. But by the by current standards, it's got to be four hours and 45 minutes by the time we finish. So I got to try and cut down 15 minutes somehow. Game, load quicker, please. I beg. Actually, I could do that if I just swap it, everything to an SSD in there. But does the, uh, does the uh, 360 support that speed? I don't think it does, actually. That'd be a bit pointless. Oh, jeez. I still find it surprising that Xbox actually offered an option to have a 320 gigabyte hard drive. And yet the new Xboxes still seem to be completely tiny in terms of storage space. We're so many years later on and we're still offering an Xbox with 500 gigs built in. While games are now pretty much 10 times larger than they ever were on the 360 era. Get your shit together, Xbox. All right, here we go. This is new to me. Rum, 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 rum. we go, not bad. Meow, 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 meow. Minna, minna, meow. Ah, chicka, chicka, chicka. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Chicka, chicka, Not bad. Keep it moving. Give me a reason. Give me a reason.
There we go, not bad. Come on, Eileen. Verge on dirty. Oh, come on, Eileen. Mina, 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 mina. Catching up fairly quickly to the uh, Pontiac at the at the back. Can we lap a car? I don't think we've actually got the lap a car achievement yet. These cars are stuck behind this slower one, to be honest. Did I get an achievement for that? No, of course not. I probably have already then. Now level four. You can now have a 10% discount on valves and displacement upgrades by GM Performance Pontiac. All right. Probably should have been paying attention. I didn't really get a good start. Oh, well. Oh, you pleb. Move. Now. Thank you. Oh, I binned it. I will admit the interior camera is very, very strange in this. Oh, so I think between um, this stream and the last stream, Sony's actually announced that they, they're they bringing out a new controller. Uh, it's called the Edge, I believe. A PS5 controller Edge. which I'm pretty excited for because it's obviously a controller. It's got um, back paddles, which would mean I'll be able to, um, I think, use your middle fingers. Ah, oh, shit. I was looking at my controller trying to work out the positioning because uh, the controller looks exactly the same. So unlike the uh, Xbox Elite controller, which sort of had a slightly different shape when it came out compared to the other Xbox controllers. Uh, the PS5 one is identical. Exactly the same. Um, which, I mean, good. Because the shape is perfect for me. Um, but yeah, it's got two back paddles, which I probably would just map them to do... I don't know. There would be a way to map them for, like, the Xbox games like I'm doing now. Because, obviously, I'm using my PS5 controller on my Xbox. I don't even know what I'd map them to, to be perfectly honest, for racing game contexts. Other than maybe for WRC, using it for, like, windscreen wipers and lights. Because that means I don't then have to lift my finger off of the throttle or anything to turn the lights on. And then I can use those bumpers for, like, engine map modes or something. Which actually, yeah, that's actually quite a good idea.
last forever. You and me. Not bad. I do like how more stable driving in this game is. It's a lot more stable for Motorsport 3 and 4. I am a mountain. I am the sea. You can't take that away from me. I am a mountain. I am the sea. I am a mountain. I am the sea. Well, you scratch and you scratch till your face melts away. Good bit of drum and bass. Not bad. Love Ledger Blair. All right, here we go. Hopefully, I won't have to use this uh, Pontiac again after this uh, after this race. I really don't like Pontiacs. I'm not a great fan of them. They've never looked great. Yeah, the kind of sad thing and uh, the sad realization is we probably only got about another another generation of Paganis when you think about it because um is it Horatio Pagani is that his first name he's getting old now um which means I doubt that he will be designing any cars after this Pagani like by all means the brand will more than likely continue afterwards after him but we won't really see his design it'll be some other designer um i mean when you think about it if it's all bugatti was alive right now he'd be rolling in I'd, i think he is rolling in his grave with how Bugatti's turned out, because it's been bought by um, a company that does uh, what's it called? It's been bought out by Volkswagen. Yeah, he. De even though it's a really popular brand now, Bugatti, I still think he'd be rolling in his grave thinking that his cars look like that, compared to what they used to look like. I think it's a similar... Uh, maybe not Enzo Ferrari. Ferraris have all, always been fairly similar looking, so I don't think anything would be substantial from them. I don't think Enzo Ferrari really cares too much about the... He's probably rolling his grave more about how the Formula 1 team keeps messing up their strategies. <laughs> But when you also realise that uh, Koenigsegg, Christian von Koenigsegg, will probably only be making another 10, 15 years worth of cars. I doubt he'll be going on till he's 70. That's for sure. Back, 
world. The time has come to. World. The time has come to. World. The time has come to. Galvanize. Come on, come on, come on. Ming, ming, mini, 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 mini. Not bad. Sixteen hours on the timer now, which is uh, impressive. Come on, keep pace. Not bad. I really hope WRC Generations goes on sale on Steam soon. Like, actually gets put up ready for pre-order. I want to know what's coming in that game. I'm excited for it. 11 grand, let's go. I will take that. Thank you very much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.